Okay, I'm going to show you how I did my five gallon bucket canister filter. Uh, what you're going to need is five gallon bucket. You're going to need uh, a gamma, gamma seal lid so that it screws on and it's watertight. And then you're going to need two of these. They are uh, one end the uh, hose will fit over, the other end will screw into your lid, and then another one will be down here. And your pump, if you get a uh, Sun Sun brand, these will fit directly into that. And I ran into the problem. I forgot about putting the pump inside, what I was going to do with the uh, electric cord. So what I did was I cut a small notch right there on the side of the bucket. And then I cut the cord in half, put it back together, and then I siliconed around it. Tested it. There's no leaks. I did sand the uh, bucket a little bit to uh, make sure that the silicone would hold. And then uh, you put in your lava rock. I'll see if I can do this with one hand. Or you can put any other media that you want. Just a second. scrubbies in. You can use anything. Then put your filter floss in. You can buy this at Walmart in a tube. Uh, quilt batting. Pretty cheap. I think five dollars. And then I put this on top so because I was just putting it through and it was just getting all the debris right here. So I'm going to put this on top to kind of make sure it spreads out. I got holes drilled in it. Then you simply screw on your lid. Now this has to be really tight. Um, I'm going to have to have somebody else hold the bucket while I screw it on later um, to make sure that it is watertight. And then you uh, take this tube and you take it off right here. And then you start to siphon your water out of your tank. Put it back on as quickly as possible. You hold the thumb. Put it back on as quickly as possible. Let it start filling up your bucket. When your bucket is full, then you go ahead and plug your pump in and you're ready to go. All this cost me about total $30 maybe.